Vasquez is a beautiful Emmy and Golden Globe winning actress with a career spanning over five decades. Huh. We absolutely fell in love with her as Dr. Quinn, medicine woman, and now she's back to tell us all about her leading role as Harry Wilde. Please welcome the legendary Jane Seymour. Hey. So great to see you. I know. Stunning as always. Thank you. And you welcome too. back to the show. Nice. And you look, can I say just marvelous. We're gonna get into your new show, but can you please give me some advice and women out there how to look so great the way you look? Oh, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> That's not true. We, well, we are telling you. Okay. All right, all right. Well, uh, yes. yeah, now you can see I, I worked out at least once. Those are my steps. At <laughs> least one. <laughs> no, I, you know, I, I try to walk and do some gyrotonics, Pilates, that yeah. kind of yeah. stuff. Uh -huh. And I'm an ex-dancer, so if I can't do any of that, um, you know, I do some plies and some ballet yes. exercises. And, you know, I think it's all about good skin, so I use my... I actually do use my Crepe Erase product all over me. Oh. Smother it in it. And, Works. Um, and I, like, uh, I like Mediterranean food. What's That's that? good. Yeah, say it's a lot of fish, if, olives... If you put the word diet in it, though, I won't eat it. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I, I happen to like all that, and I actually grow all my own organic food, and I have chickens. That, that I think makes a the huge eggs. difference. Eggs are incredible. Oh, we should have asked her to bring some eggs. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing like organic yeah, eggs. Next oh time. my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> so all so the cool. secrets to life, and you obviously are very active, just like you are on your movie Ruby's Choice. This is really exciting. Tell well, us about it. Well, I was incredibly fortunate during COVID. You know, everybody else was like hiding in place, and yeah. I went to Australia. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, not very far. <laughs> Just, and the bit they didn't tell me was they were going to put me in isolation for two weeks. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I discovered Zoom. We did all of my, my um, rehearsals there, but I met, played this amazing woman um, who had Alzheimer's. and. Uh, you know, it's how the family reacting, you know, they, they didn't really want to admit it, they didn't know what to do about yeah. it, and it changed the entire dynamic of the family, and it's yeah. really about three generations. And this amazing woman, Ruby, ends up having to live with her daughter and her family and her granddaughter, who she doesn't really know very well, and the granddaughter, and she really bond, and she changes the dynamic of everybody in the family. And so it shows that Alzheimer's, as bad as it is, yeah. Also, there is something kind of amazing and wonderful that happens mm. from her. And of course, she makes the choice ultimately for herself to go to a home. But it really shows you authentically what that process is like. And it's so important to me because one in two of us over, yep. over the age, I think, of 60 or 70 yes. will have it. And there is no cure for it. Yeah, both my grandmother and grandfather had Alzheimer's. <sighs> today, still do. I'm visiting her tomorrow and I, I don't know how to approach the situation. Mm -hmm. Every day is so different. So this is something that'll be... Well, I'll, I'll give you advice right Please. now. If, yes, if they say, like, for example, Ruby says, oh, my husband's coming to pick me up, and you yeah. know that he's been gone for 20 years. Correct. You just say, you, you don't, you just say, oh, yeah, okay, but would you like a cup of tea now? And then that you just... Uh, it just oh. washes it away. Don't... Correct them. Oh, right. right. Never correct them. Yes. Right. Yeah. More frustration. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's helpful. That is so Very helpful. helpful. Otherwise, they process it all over again. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for that. We are so grateful because we get to see you in so many different projects. You're also uh, about to be on the series. You're also on the series, Be Positive, with our good friend, Ben Vereen. Yeah, we just uh, had Ben. Yes. Oh, and you yeah. actually play an 85-year-old aging beauty named Bet. Yes. Uh, tell us, what kind of research did you do to, for this character? This is so different than you. <laughs> I know. No, it's totally know, I, different. Chuck, Chuck Laurie had me on Kaminsky Method, and I was playing Alan Arkin's Ooh. love interest. So I was used to aging up, and, and he said, how do you do that? I said, grey wigs. Just <laughs> so then when I came to do Bet, and, he, you know, he asked me to come and do that, I said, I'll just scrunch up like this. I said, all my, you know, I've got well, everything's moving here, all the wrinkles and stuff. And I said, we just draw them all in and make them stronger and put some crazy makeup on. And uh, what's fun about Bet is um, she's uh, an 85-year-old in a residential home who thinks she's a 20-year-old rock chick. So I've got to wear all this really <laughs> awesome that. clothes. But it, it was really, really fun because I was working with Hatta Alessandro and, yeah. you know, yeah. Anna Lee and Ben and, and everyone like that. And it's brilliant writing. It's fun. But you yeah. know, there, there are women like this. There are people like this in those old people's homes. A friend of mine runs uh, four homes in Dallas, and I told him about it, and he said, oh, my God. He said, you have no idea. I said, about 8 o'clock at night, everyone's moving. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of activity. 
Yes. You would, I would never think wow. that, but oh, that's actually so it's, cool. Wow. Excuse me, more STDs in that community than anywhere else. Yeah, yeah they say I, that. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I've heard that. They well, they're sure not going to get pregnant. Think about yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. That's why I can't wait to get into Whoa. one of their homes. Get, okay. Get I have never <laughs> thought about that. I can't wait to get it. Wow. Wow. I'm a freak on. But it's Lord. also important to tell the stories that you're telling. Mm -hmm. You know, Bet and Rubies. You know, why is why are these stories so important for us to see? Well, because really, it's not like that generation and you're not there. You're gonna be there. Right. But you're definitely affected by them. So as you were saying, you, you have grandparents who, who yeah. have Alzheimer's and, and dementia. Um, that affects your life yes. and it'll affect your children's life. So it's a three-generation thing. And, and it's sort of the elephant in the room, you know, it has to be discussed. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, there's a lot of us baby boomers who are still alive and kicking, yes. you know, we're, we're still at it. And I think it's very important for people to know that you don't sort of hit a certain age and then you kind of, you know. You are proof of that. Right. <laughs> you are definitely You are proof, proof of Absolutely. that. For you're sure. so good at um, playing different roles that relate to real people's lives. Like right now you're playing a literary professor who's having trouble adjusting to retirement in Harry's Wild. So what is that like? Well, she is so much fun. She's Professor Harriet yeah. Wilde, but known as Harry. Harry. Uh, she's, uh, she likes to drink a lot of wine and do shots. I'm not really good at shots. Yeah. You tried, you I you tried me to get her to take to shots. Do shots. We went to a Steelers game I together. know, I never forgot that. And we were like, let's do shots of tequila. And you were like, mm, I think I got you to do I know. No, 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 she, do she has a secret. I'm going to tell you her secret. She says, <laughs> as they go like this, you go she like does. this, and then you go like I, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Totally well. You and did. <laughs> that, no, we actually have a clip from Mary Wild. Let's check it out. I love it. Love. Whose house is that? My son, the guard, is looking for a killer and a kidnapper. The same person who's done both. Okay, and? Wait, you saying the killer's over there? Well, I'm 90% sure. So call your son. How do you know he's not in there? I'm just gonna knock on the door, and, and if he answers, I'll just say I've got the wrong address. I'm just a harmless old woman. You're bleeding well armed. <laughs> so, see, but that's what I mean. How do you channel that character? Is that well, something you're pulling from reference? Yes, no, so she becomes a detective by accident because she realizes um, that her, her son's a, a detective, and she realizes yeah. when she looks through his paperwork and looks on, on, on TV that it's, it, you know, the crime is something to do with an Elizabethan, you know, rare manuscript right. that nobody but she would know about. And, uh, of course, he won't listen, and then mm. she just has to go and solve the crime. And mercifully, this young man who, if you watch the thing, he actually mugs her, but then she realizes it was... Was there was no good reason? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, basically, he becomes yes. her sidekick. He's quit school. He's 15. She's a professor. So while they are running after these bad guys, she's using her knowledge of literature and history to, to, you know, discover who's who. But she only has a stun gun, which doesn't go very far. And he's from the wrong side of town. <laughs> and so he's got, he knows a man who knows a man who knows a man, because he grew right. up in the world. Of she course. did not. So they use, uh, they use their abilities together. It's very comedic. So they're perfect. And it's they're perfect. perfect. He, this yeah. young man is brilliant, Rohan oh Ned. He's actually English. He talks just like me in real life. Oh, I, I heard that. But he's, com no, he's completely Irish in the show. Oh. All the crew thought he was Irish, but... It gets so weirder and weirder as the episodes go along. It's on Acorn TV, and and um, you know the first one is obviously the setup, but but each of these crimes they're more bizarre. Yeah. And <laughs> uh, and, and she keeps uh, correcting his his grammar. You know, <laughs> there's someone's about to kill them, and she goes, you know, he said hang, not hung. Pictures are hung. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. oh, do you that. do that Stuff in like real that. life though? Because I feel I like do. you seem proper, yes. so I feel like yes. you teach us a few oh, things. I'm the, I am the bane of my children's life right. because I'm always correcting them. You and know? I want to talk about that because as a new mom, I'm learning how to balance the career, and you've got careers and so much going on. What is my advice when it comes to like a new mom? Give me something. Okay. Well, I think number one, you've got to teach them how to swim. Oh. So they and say what I that. did is from day one, from birth. I, I got them used to putting their face underwater and then taking up and go, yes, you did it. So the whole thing of putting your head underwater yes. comes very naturally to a baby. So, yeah. and what you do is you blow in the face, you go one, two, three, and then you put them underwater and then they come up and go, yes, look, 
Oh great my gosh, that first that, dunk I think gotta is, be is number one. I think swimming. number two is let your kids get used to being with other people so they can yeah. trust other people because yes. you can't always be there all the time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And the single most important thing is they, they need to you know know the parameters, they need to know what they can and can't do and be as you know as observant to that as you can be. But make sure they're heard. Mm. And yes. especially when they're teenagers, they have to be heard, yes. even if what they're saying is it just so wrong. Out of order. <laughs> okay. You go, oh, hmm, let me think about that. I'll come back to yeah. you on that one. I, that's, 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 I haven't we thought about it that way before. Such okay, we have learned so much. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much, Jane, that's for amazing. coming through. Thank so you. Good. Thank you for the advice, because she needs it, okay? Well, I, <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can catch episodes of Harry Wilde streaming now on Acorn TV. Be sure to check it out.